Welcome to Crash Magic. In this video, I'm going to attempt to perform one of my all time favourite card tricks Total Coincidence by Juan Tamariz. It took me quite a while to deconstruct this trick and work out how it was done, but hopefully, I can do justice to this amazing trick, and hopefully, you'll enjoy the video. For what I'd like to show you, we need two decks of cards a blue deck and a red deck. We'll start with the blue deck and let me show you the box is now totally empty. We're now going to split this pack into roughly two equal halves and then shuffle them and let me be clear if you were here you could perform this shuffle. Okay let me just push the these together and show you that the cards are in fact actually mixed and we'll push them in together now and set the cards down here and now I'm going to cut the cards but again if you were here I'd ask you to do this now for the red cards again all 52 cards out of the box and nothing at all left inside I'm going to split the cards and then Riffle shuffle them together exactly as before and exactly as before you'd be able to do this shuffling. Okay, let me push these together. Come on, cards. Mix together. There we go. Right, all the cards well and truly mixed as you can see. And then exactly the same as before. I'd ask you to cut the cards. You could cut them anywhere that you like. So we now have a blue and a red deck of cards, both fairly shuffled and cut. Now this trick is all about the black cards. So what I'm now going to do, starting with the blue deck, is to work my way through all 52 cards and separate all the black cards from the red cards. I need to find each and every black card and hopefully make sure I don't miss any. A few more still to go. Nearly there. Any more? No, that's it. Let me move this red deck out of the way for a second. We'll take the black cards and put them here. Give myself a bit of room so I can spread out all of these cards. So you can see we've got all the red cards here and just checking we've not got any black still no nope. good so now we can put all these red cards back in their box whoops sorry wrong box these all go into the blue box and we can put these to the side as we don't need them okay so we have all the black cards from the blue deck of cards now and we need to do exactly the same with our red deck of cards now. So once again we're going to work our way through each and every card here and pull out all of the black cards. Just got to be really careful, concentrate here to try and uh, not miss any. Couple here. There's a group. Right, we're nearly there. One at the end, there we go, yeah. Okay, so that looks like all the blacks removed. Let's put these ones down together with the black cards from the blue pile. And then again, I'm just I just want to check that we've got each and every one. All of these are red, none of these are black cards. No, it looks good. Okay, so again we can put these away inside the box, the right box this time. So these can go in here out the way. Come on in you go. That's it. And let's put these down here. We're now hopefully left with a blue deck of just black cards and a red deck of just black cards. And at this point, if you again would like to cut both decks of cards, wherever you like, free choice of wherever you cut those cards. Now, 
we check the red cards I now want to spread both decks of these cards out as well so that A you can see that these are all the black cards and B so I can check we haven't got any red cards that I've missed nope that all looks fine and now the blue deck so let's check all black cards and no reds and remember you could have shuffled both of these packs of cards and also cut both packs a number of times by now. Now let me put these two cards side by side and now I would ask you to cut the red deck any way you wanted. Okay so let's say you cut there. Then I'd ask you to take that next card where you'd cut to, not look at it, but turn it 90 degrees and place it on top of these cards and then place the rest of the cards on top. We're now going to turn cards face up from these two decks together. So we turn the top card from the blue pile and the top card from the red pile over at exactly the same time, working our way all the way down through the piles until we come eventually to your chosen card. Are we there? No. No. One more is it? There we go. Here's your chosen card. And your chosen card was the King of Clubs. And the corresponding card in the blue deck is also the King of Clubs. So two matching cards. Two King of Clubs from two decks of cards that if you remember were both shuffled and both cut numerous times and you could have shuffled and you could have cut those cards and you cut the red deck at any position and selected any card but let me show you something else if we now collect the blue and the red deck back together again and then I would ask you to riffle shuffle these blue and red cards together into one pile so you would be free to shuffle these blue and red cards together like this. We push them in and we can again clearly see the blue and the red cards are all mixed up together, all interweaved. We'll push them together and then I'm going to spread them out onto the table like so. I could do with a bigger table really, but you can see that we've got blue and red back cards all mixed up. I'm going to try something now. I'm going to select two cards from this spread. I'll select one of each colour. I'm going to choose that red one. So I want to choose a blue one now. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for this one here. So that's one blue and one red card from a pile of cards that you shuffled. If we take a look at these cards, we have got two four of spades and another matching pair. But that's not it. Let me show you something else. If we take our pile of blue and red back cards and now if we separate them again. So we'll separate them into a pile of blue and a pile of red cards. Need to go and through and pick out all of these red cards, hopefully not get them mixed up. A couple more reds here. Some more here. A few more left is there yet. A couple more here at the bottom. Let's get rid of all these as well. Okay, so we've separated the cards into blue and red again and we're going to put the two piles next to each other and we'll take our matching fours and then deal cards from the blue and the red piles together and now watch how every pair now matches every other pair every pair that we turn over from the blue and red cards match as we work all the way through every pile of the two packs Remember these were two shuffled, two cut piles of cards and every pair 
now matches right the way down to the last pair of cards. But you know what? That's not it. Do you remember the blue back red cards and the red backed red cards? The ones that were shuffled and cut and put into these boxes right at the very beginning because we didn't need them. Let's get the blue ones out onto the table and nothing else in the box as you can see and now the red ones all out nothing in the box now watch what happens if we turn cards from the blue and red deck over at the same time once again each and every card from the blue and red deck match as we go through the whole of the deck every single card again from two shuffle piles of cards, two cut piles of cards matching all the way down each and every card six of hearts, queen of diamonds, ten of diamonds all the way down to the very last card at the end now that's a total coincidence well that's the end of this video if you liked it please like it and subscribe if you've got any comments leave them down below and see you soon